Good morning, everyone. My name is Akesh Gupta, and I work with Lightspeed Solutions. Today, in this presentation, I will share with you how easy it is to upload and download documents and attachments to an entity using RSP Designer version 7.1. To begin with, let's look at a sample application which we have built against the AdventureWorks database with the entity contact. Here we have a list of contacts as is being displayed here and we can edit the record as well as add the record and all this data is pretty standard from SQL. As a business requirement we would like to start attaching documents like a resume or a picture to these entities. To begin with we'll go to the SQL database, find the table and add a couple of columns. The two columns which are almost necessary are the image control which basically in this case is known as contact image of the image data type as well as a field to store the file name with which the file was uploaded. In this case we have given the name as contact image file name at 50 characters. Of course you can adjust the length based on your requirements. So given these two fields we will go back to RSP Designer, go back to our add contact page or edit contact page and in the fields we are interested on an add contact page to bring in only the image control and of course we would like to bring in the appropriate label as well. On the edit contact page we would like to bring in the label just in case you would like to upload a new file. In addition we can always try to bring a contact image back and display it as a file to be able to download in case you would like folks to be able to download what was uploaded last time. And then on the show contact table page which is what we're going to make it as a startup page here anyway we're only going to be displaying the name of the document which should be available to us as a hyperlink so that we can download it. So as part of the RN speed designer due to the nature of the field being upload control RN speed will automatically make it a file upload control as it's very obvious right here. The only thing we need to make adjustment here is what will be the name of the field where the file name will be stored. In this case we can pick contact image file name. Similar to the add page we have to make the same change on the edit page. When it comes to the contact image one rather than displaying it as a file upload I would like to display it as a file download. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the control type. As soon as we change the control type we also need to assign what it will be the file name for it to know when the download process begins what to show the file name as. So the same step can be uh, once again repeated for my table control where I was displaying an image and by default since it's a show type functionality show type page the image control automatically gets displayed as an image uh, image type is good, uh, gets displayed as control type of image but in this particular case since we do not uh, have like a BMP or like a Photoshop or like a file where it will be displayed as a thumbnail image may not suit well so what I can do is I can change it to a file download and just specify the file name as we have done on the edit page. So after having done these changes let's just quickly build it and folks just for the reference this is version 7.10 just in case uh, you are looking at something, uh, some different version. The, con the concept is the same, the fields might be just uh, at a different place. So given this uh, work, let's see how it affected our application. First of all, we're going to refresh the, uh, the table page. So now, since we added an extra column to display the content uh, image as the column, of course you are allowed to change the uh, label here. First thing first, I would like to take go to the first record, click on edit, and as you can see, automatically the system is displaying you an upload control because this was of the type upload. I can browse, I can open my resume, and I can save it. As soon as you save the resume, the name of the file that got saved automatically starts appearing here, and system is smart enough to say this is the name of the file you saved. Now I can click on the edit again in case I want to upload a new resume or updated resume at the same time the previous resume is available for you to download in case you would like to download. In addition I can click at the table level and I can click on the link and system will automatically download my resume 
to show up as a sample resume. So this shows you folks how easy it was to use RNSP Designer to upload and download files. Hope you enjoyed the video and keep watching for more. Thanks.